Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Carrie. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. So today, you can tell from the title, we're packing for seven nights in New York City. I am super excited for this trip. It's been a long time coming. So if you're packing for your vacation or you just enjoy pack with me videos, I would love for you to come along with me. So please stay tuned. So this is my personal carry-on. It is a to-be bag that I'm bringing. So I have everything in here that um, I'm going to be taking with me. So I just wanted to show you kind of how I packed it and what I packed. There are a couple things first off that are not in here yet, like I do have uh, my charging block that I charge my laptop and my phone with, but that is currently charging um, one of my batteries for my camera. So I have to put that in here as long as my phone. Um, and I also will need to put in my husband's wallet into my bag because I like to hold everything kind of together so nothing gets lost. All right, so the first things in here is my crossbody bag. I am bringing a Tory Burch bag inside of here. I do have the straps for the crossbody. I also have my wallet, which is the Louis Vuitton Keyclay. And then I have earphones. One is for my laptop and one is for my phone. So I'd like to keep both of those on me at all times. And the nice thing about the size of this bag, which is why I'm bringing it, is it's thick enough and long enough to be able to hold my tripod um, for my camera. So I think that's pretty nice. I don't have to carry something additional or a bigger bag. It's a pretty compact bag, but my um, vlogging tripod does fit in here. All right, and the next thing is my straightener. I used a T3 straightener. It is like the micro travel size one, so it is pretty small. I'm not going to be bringing a hair dryer on this trip because um, the hotel that I'm staying in does have a hair dryer. So just going to bring a straightener so that I can curl a straight to my hair as needed. All right, and then I have my Revlon paddle brush that I'm bringing. And for longer flights, I do like to have some type of compression socks, especially because we are on a red eye flight. Um, you know, the expectation is you're not going to be like getting up and walking around as much because I'm going to try and be sleeping. So I do want to wear these compression socks just to kind of help with my circulation in my legs. This is my microphone that I'm going to be bringing with me. This is what I record um, my voiceovers with. Okay, and since we are flying red eye, it is overnight, I am going to bring an eye mask with me. Um, just want to make sure that I can sleep as best as possible since we are arriving and, you know, really just going to jump in and get the day started. So I want to make sure that I can sleep as best as possible and I prefer to sleep when it's like pitch black. So definitely going to be bringing one of these with me. This little guy here I did pick up from Amazon. It is a toothbrush holder and it does hold my Oral-B toothbrush along with um, my tongue scraper. So the nice thing about this case is that it has two compartments here for toothbrush heads. So if you're traveling with somebody else and you don't have a lot of space and you just can only take one of these, you can just pop in another head on this side and just basically use the same um, toothbrush except you're using your own head. And so yeah, I think it works really well. I just added my tongue scraper in here because my husband has his own case and so he's gonna um, you know, not need to use mine. All right, and then I do like to bring a pack of tea bags as well as the liquid IVs. I especially like to bring it when I am traveling just because my routine isn't the same like normal. And I have a bunch of different tea bags in here, um, a lot of different peppermint and green teas that I like to ha always have with me. All right, and then for emergencies, I do have a bunch of gallon Ziploc bags, um, trash bags, and sandwich bags just kind of rolled up here. You never know when you're gonna need it. And in the past, I've almost always dabbled into this little stack. Um, you know, sometimes we have wet clothes or we have leftover snacks or something spills in our luggage and we need to separate it from the rest of the items. So it doesn't take up that much space um, in our suitcase. And so, yeah, I just like to bring that along with me. Typically, I do put this in our actual suitcase, but this time around, um, I am packing it into our, um, into my personal item bag. Okay, and then I just have a bag here, feminine products, emergencies, you never know when you're gonna need them, so bringing this along with me. 
And then we have a bag of black face masks that we're gonna be bringing along. All right, and in this here, this is my little like first aid essential bag that I like to bring. I have duct tape. You never know when you're gonna need it. It's come in handy before. So yeah, I just like to bring a small little travel size roll of duct tape with me. And I also like to pack some emergency in case you know we're not feeling well, we just need a little boost of vitamins. I like to bring one of those. And day quill and night quill in case we need that. And also some mucinex in case we ever feel congested. And in the back compartment here, I have a bunch of different size of gauze as well as different size of band-aids. And then we have some alcohol swabs in case we ever need it. So yeah, this is just my little first aid kit. I've definitely um, used the band-aids before in here. Um, you just never know when you're gonna need it. So yeah, this is something that I like to bring along. And then in this bag, this little pouch, I do keep some Tylenol for the trip. I also like to keep some extra Q-tips in here, some Kleenex, as well as some floss picks. These are very useful. I always dive into these. So keeping two in there as well as a ballpoint pen. All right, and then moving on to this little guy here. This is a laundry bag. I use it for dirty laundry. I bought this off Amazon. Um, it opens up into a drawstring bag, which is pretty cool because you can also just throw it in the washing machine when you get home. The nice thing I like about this is it separates out our actual dirty clothes from the rest of our clothes when we're traveling. So I don't have to like store my dirty clothes in the drawers or into my suitcase. I just pop it into this guy. All right, and the next thing in here is this little hard shell case. I bought this off Amazon. It is for my camera. I keep my tripod in here, my actual camera, my wind muff, any batteries and charging cables. So down here is where I do keep uh, my tripod, my wind muff, wind muff, and my camera. And then in this little compartment here, I do keep all of my batteries. I do have two spare ones that I'm gonna be bringing with me. My other one is charging right now. And then the charging cables. And then in this pack right here, this little pouch, I do keep these little guys. This is what I use to charge my batteries in when I'm not charging it um, in my camera. And then I also like to bring extra memory cards just in case I record a lot of footage. So I like to keep that in here. And this is specifically for my camera. Um, I don't know if you can use them for other ones, but I use the Sony ZV-1 to record and it, it fits everything perfectly. All right, and then this is probably my biggest pouch that I do have in here. This is my toiletry bag and I also store a bunch of my makeup in here. So on this side of the bag, I do have some salon pots. Never know when you're gonna need that when traveling. I have a pack of those. I also have a pack of shout wipes in case we stain our clothes. I do have some oil absorbing sheets. And then this bag, I have some face applicators and lip applicators when we are using like our face cream or um, applying like my overnight lip mask. I do like to use spatulas just to kind of keep everything clean. And then I do have a bunch of hair ties in here and some clips to bring with me. And I just have a bunch of like shampoos, conditioners. I think this guy's pretty cool. I do use it to keep all of my eyelashes in there. Bought this off Amazon, but I think it's pretty cool. I am bringing um, my YSL perfume with me. A little compact mirror in here. And yeah, this is just kind of everything that I have for my bath essentials. And then on this side, in these little compartments that you'll see up here, I do keep all of my makeup. I decided on this trip my makeup was gonna be kind of minimum. Um, didn't wanna do too much. And so I'm really just gonna be doing my eyebrows, eyelashes, and throwing on some like tinted lip balm. And so in here, I just have some tweezers, some scissors. I have a bunch of lip balms in here. And then I also keep in here, this is my eye repair cream that I use. It is a CeraVe one. I have some eyelash glue, the dual dark. And then in this compartment on this end, I do have a face um, shaver. I have my mascara, my 
This is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel that I've been really loving lately. And then my eyebrow pencil. So yeah, this is just everything I keep in my toiletry bag with me. Um, it's a pretty big one, but uh, definitely keeps everything that I need. Then the last thing in this bag is my laptop. So on this trip, we're definitely laptop heavy. I have, between my husband and I, we have three um, laptops that we're bringing. This is my personal laptop that I'm gonna be using to edit and upload any footage that I record. It's a 12 inch a MacBook Pro, but I do have a 16 inch MacBook Pro that I need to bring that is my work laptop. That one is a bit heavier and a bit larger, so I am actually gonna put that into my husband's carry-on suitcase. Um, that fits perfectly in there, and I don't wanna put too many like laptops in here because then it makes this bag a lot heavier. All right, so now I'm gonna be packing my carry-on suitcase. I did buy this from Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. It was about like 50 or $60. Um, so yeah, I think it works really well. So I have everything laid out that I'm gonna be packing in the suitcase. There are a couple things that I'm not going to be packing um, that I'm gonna be wearing. So I just kind of wanted to show you so for this trip, I am going to be bringing two pairs of shoes. I'm just going to be bringing one um, pair of sneakers that I'm going to be actually wearing on the plane. So these are the Nike um, Air Max 270s. And then I do have a pair of um, suede like booties that I'm going to be bringing. They're ankle booties. So I'm going to be wearing this on the plane. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And then I do have gloves that I'm packing. So I do think I'm going to leave these out and just kind of carry them in my personal carry-on. So I'm gonna leave that there. And then this is my outfit for the plane. So I am going to be um, wearing sweats because it is gonna be an overnight flight. Wanna make sure um, I'm, I don't get too cold. So I'm wearing like an oatmeal or like an off-white um, sweatpants and then also just like a heather light gray um, sweatshirt. So that is gonna be my top and bottom. And then I am going to be wearing this coat on the plane. I am bringing two coats with me. I have a um, like a full leather black trench coat that I'm packing and that's actually gonna go into my husband's um, personal carry-on. But then I also have this coat. So I'm gonna be wearing this on the plane along with my sweats because this one is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier. So it takes up a lot of space in the suitcase. So that's gonna be my outfit for the plane ride. So I'm just going to move these on the side. Okay, and then for everything that goes into here, so typically I do like to kind of keep majority of my clothes on one side of the luggage, but um, since this is a longer trip for me, um, there is a couple more things that I am gonna be bringing. So to start off first, um, this is my pair of black ankle booties that I'm bringing. I think they're super cute. I got them from DSW. Um, they're just really simple, easy, um, very comfortable. The heel isn't too high, so it's actually pretty comfortable to walk in. So I just put these inside of a dust bag so I can keep them separated from the rest of my clothes and they don't really get anything really dirty. And they fit nicely right on this side. All right, and then I am packing two sports bras, and I'm actually gonna wear one on the plane too, so I have a total of three. So um, they're both just black because majority of my clothes that I do wear are um, white, gray, nude, black. So I'm gonna take two of these black sports bras and just put that on that side. All right, and then I am packing four pairs of bottoms um, Technically five, but the fifth one is just a pair of like tights. And so this is for like some sweater dresses that I'm going to be bringing as well. So I'm gonna leave that one on the side for now, but these are essentially the four bottoms that I'm gonna be wearing out and about. So the first one I have is just a pair of black joggers. These are a little bit more thin, um, but I am just gonna bring them because sometimes, um, especially because my coats are thicker and longer, um, I don't have much of like my legs exposed. And so this might work and it doesn't take that much space. So I'm gonna bring one of these. And then I do have a pair of black leggings, just regular um, full leg leggings that I'll be bringing. And then I have a pair of black faux leather leggings. Um, this is gonna be for more of like my dressier outfits. If we're going out to like bars at night or going to a nice dinner, um, we do have a Broadway show that we're going to and we do have a NYX and Blazers game that we're also going to. So bringing these just in case. 
And then I do have one pair of jeans. These are the Aritzia Algodi um, 90s jeans. I really like these a lot. They're in their lightest wash that they have. Um, I was going to bring two pairs of jeans, like a medium kind of ish wash, but I thought that this one would probably be a little bit more casual for like the daytime. So I'm only gonna pack one. So let's see, I'm gonna put my jeans on this side of the suitcase. And then I think I'm gonna pack my joggers on this side. I'll probably put my faux leather leggings on top of it. And then I think these leggings I might put on this side of the suitcase. I'm just gonna leave this on the side for now. Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there. So on this side, what I like to do is, typically I like to have um, packing cubes with me, but for this trip, since some of my clothes are a little bit thicker than normal, even though I'm layering, they are a little bit thicker, so I just want to stack them so that I can essentially see everything that I have in my suitcase. So the first two things I have right here are two sweater dresses. One is in black, and then one is like a mauve, pinkish purplish color i'm planning on wearing both of these with my uh, black ankle booties and then these um tights that i have so the tights i'm going to probably put in a little bit later but i'm going to start off with these two towards the bottom and i just kind of roll them essentially enough to be able to kind of hit the height of the suitcase so that when i fold it um nothing gets like smushed or anything like that so I'm going to put these two in here and then I am packing two crop sweaters. So one is in like a white or light heather gray color. The other is in just kind of like a regular gray, um, lightish gray, I would say. Um, these are both crop sweaters. They're essentially the same sweater, just different colors so I can mix and match them. Um, that's kind of like the theme when I like to pack, especially for like longer trips. I'll try to mix and match as much as possible. So for like the daytime, um, if I want like a little bit of a thicker sweater under my coat, I could just wear like one of these and, and pair it with like a pair of jeans and like sneakers. But like at night, if I wanted to dress it up a little bit more, I could wear these crop sweaters with like my faux leather leggings, throw on some of my ankle booties and then wear like a trench coat to dress it up. So I like to bring pieces that I can mix and match so that I'm not over packing so many things because I don't have like as much space in just a carry-on suitcase so both of these I'm going to just add them to this side just like that all right and so the next thing here I would say are these three items so these are essentially full length, um, just long sleeve shirts. They're from um, Nordstrom that I picked them up. And these three are the exact same shirt, but they're just in different colors. Um, they're pretty neutral, so at least I can mix and match with different things. But these are just for more of like layering other under a coat, or if I just am like hanging around the hotel, um, then I'll just, I can throw these on. So I have three of these, one in black, one in a light gray, and then one is in white. So I'm going to add those here. And then I do have this gray, um, this is more of like a, um, I would say like a tunic style sweater. It is a little bit longer, so I could wear it with leggings or tights versus like wearing it with jeans, unless I wanted to tuck it in. But this, I would say, is a little bit more, definitely on the thin side. And I could dress this up a little bit with like my faux leather leggings if I wanted to. So, so far, these all fit kind of in a row on one side. Okay, and then I'm going to add in these two. So these um, are two cropped long sleeve shirts from Everlane, black and white. Again, they're the same style shirt, just different colors. You'll kind of notice that about me when I find something that I really like. I'll buy it in every color, like neutral, that's possible. So. I have two of these. These are just more definitely on the casual side that I could just maybe pair with like some jeans and just put a coat under it. If we're just, or a coat over it, if we're just going to um, run to like 
a bakery or just grab some quick breakfast, um, I think these would be really good. So I definitely want to have these in here just in case. So I'm just going to add these to this side. All right, so total I have so far on this half, I have my two sweater dresses, I have my two crop sweaters, I have three of my full length long sleeve um, tops, I have a tunic sweater style, and then I have two cropped like thinner long sleeve shirts. And then I would say the next thing I'm going to pack is these items here. So these are my sleep um, items. I'm just going to bring like two shirts and two shorts. I know in like the hotel room you can always like adjust the temperature so I'm not too concerned and I am since I am wearing um, sweatpants I am already going to have a pair of sweatpants just in case I get really cold. So I think the shorts and t-shirt should be okay. So I just have regular um, shorts here and the t-shirts so I'm going to put them on this side of the suitcase and I think I'm going to add in the tights and let's see if these fit on this side. All right, so just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put my leggings and these two items, my shirt, on this side. So I essentially have a little bit more space on this side that I could put um, some things. So I would say... I do have also portable chargers that I am going to be packing in my luggage. I sometimes um, swap between my personal item and my luggage, but because I'm essentially going to be hopefully sleeping the whole time on the plane, I won't need to be like charging my phone as much. So I am going to put these in my suitcase for this trip. So I just kind of stick them anywhere that they fit. They're really small. Um, the portable chargers I use are from Anchor, so they don't take up that much space and I can just kind of throw them in here and place them just like that. All right, and then I do have a beanie that I'm going to be bringing with me, so I'm just going to put that on this side. And then I do have one scarf that I'll be bringing as well. All right. And so I would say the last couple of items are just these two right here. I am a huge fan of packing cubes. I just think for this trip, the packing cube situation didn't really work out because I just had a lot more like bulkier things like I was mentioning than I normally um, pack. Typically I pack a lot of my um, long sleeve, like thinner shirts and I'll layer it, but there are like the sweater dresses and these two sweaters that I've been longing to wear for a really long time. So I definitely wanted to bring those with me. So I had to kind of sacrifice how I packed and rearrange things so that I can make it work. Um, so in this packing cube right here, came in a set of other cubes, but I'm just using this little pouch. And in this pouch, I have all of my regular bras. So I have a black bra and a nude bra. And then I have eight pairs of socks. We are staying for seven nights and eight days, so I will already be wearing a pair of socks on the plane, but I like to pack one extra just in case. So I'm going to be putting that right on top of the leggings. And then in this pouch here, I have all of my underwear. And so I am bringing nine pairs of underwear. I'm bringing extra just in case. You never know um, if anything happens. So I pack that in a little pouch. It's a little bit more put away and tucked away than just laying out. So I'm gonna put that on this side next to my sleeping clothes. And it's really small, so I can just kind of tuck away like that. So yeah, this is my entire suitcase. This is how I pack everything. Um, this is when I essentially am not using packing cubes. This is kind of how I like to lay everything out. So yeah, again, I am gonna be wearing my other coat and then um, some sweats on the plane. So I should be comfy enough and then I'll just have to um, bring out a pair of socks that I can wear with my shoes. And yeah, we should be good to go. All right, so yeah, I think I pretty much have everything packed in here that I'm gonna need. So let's go ahead and just zipper this up. Make sure that everything is in there, nothing's hanging out.
my carry-on suitcase um, that I'll be bringing with me along with my to me um, personal item that I showed you. But yeah, I'm really excited for this trip. By the time that this video goes live, I'll already be in New York. So let me know in the comments down below some places that you recommend that I should visit. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this pack with me. Stay tuned. I have a bunch of more pack with me's coming up. There's a lot of more trips that I have planned pretty much I would say like every month of the year, especially into next year around summertime. So a lot of things going on, a lot of pack with me's, a lot of travel videos that I plan on posting for you guys. Hope you enjoy this and I will talk to you all soon.